Hey you guys, this is Mr. Sal. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, I did show you a different technique in the previous video that you could use to solve this one using a calculator right away even though the base is 3. Uh, and again that is the change of base property of logarithms and I have a video on that as well. But for now let's go ahead and do this the way that we've learned already and that is by changing this to an exponential form. So I have 1 over 729 equals 3z but I need that 729 uh, not in a fraction so I'm just gonna make it a negative exponent so I have 721, uh, 729 to the power of negative 1 uh, so let's focus on this 729 shall we and we'll go and split this up dividing it by 3 until we have uh, only 3's remaining uh, you'll see what I mean here using this factor tree so we have split up 729 and we can see that gave us a base of 3 and it's being multiplied by itself 6 times now again this isn't necessarily a prime factorization of 729 it's just we're looking for how many times 3 is being multiplied by itself to get that 729 so 729 is 3 to the power of 6 but that was all to the power of negative 1 right and this equals 3z then using the power of a product rule I can multiply the 6 and negative 1 so I have 3 to the power of negative 6 equals 3 to the power of z so I have those common bases I can rewrite this I've got negative 6 equals the z and that would be my final answer of course you could check this in the calculator using a change of base property so again that would be log of uh, and again these are common logs log of 1 over 729 and that over the log of 3 so if you put that into the calculator again you would get the same thing that it is negative 6